Hello everyone, this is Sal here. A very warm welcome back to another relaxing perfume video. I hope you're doing well. So today we're going to be talking all about my top perfumes for the summer nights. Before we get started today, get yourself comfortable, of course. Grab yourself a drink and a snack. Comment below your drink of choice. Today I have some pressed coconut water and it's really very nice and refreshing. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. So first up today, I think in the spirit of coconuts, <laughs> uh, I have Ariana Grande's Cloud. Now this would be kind of a nice lighter option for a nighttime scent and the reason I want to feature it in today's video is because the coconut nature of this perfume, it kind of reminds me of summertime you guys. There's something about this that has a really nice, fun, light-hearted feeling. It almost reminds me of like a, a beach party or something like that. So maybe some tropical style cocktails with um, coconut notes in there. So I actually forget how nice this perfume is, you guys. It's really a very delightful scent. So you have your interesting notes in here like lavender. You have your nice bright bergamot opening as well. You have your whipped cream note mixing with that coconut to create this really soft, creamy, almost like coconut milk sort of accord in here. I think the bottle of this one is really cute. So it comes in this kind of cloud-like... Um, structure there and you can take the bottle out if you so wish um, but this bottle can be a standalone thing in itself so you can have it either out of its little container or you can have it in there i usually just keep it in and then actually spray it oops um i usually just you know spray it in here like i don't usually take it out but you can have it however you prefer so this perfume is just really enjoyable, you guys. I would say it really does have a very summery feeling about it. And I think um, for a summer night when you're maybe going out for a few cocktails and you want something sweet, very kind of girly, uh, flirty, you know, a nice sweet summertime scent to wear in the evenings, this would be a fantastic choice. It's really very versatile as well though. So of course you could wear it during the daytime as well if you so wish. Um, but I do think that this is a really nice um, an easy reach option, you know, for when you're just running out for a few drinks or uh, maybe an evening stroll, something like that, a walk along the beach, you know, something nice for summertime. I think this would be an absolutely fantastic fragrance option. So that is Ariana Grande Cloud. And before I forget, of course, the lasting power of this is very good in my opinion. Projection is also fairly decent, to my nose anyway. And overall, um, this is just a really fantastic, affordable fragrance for the summer nights. So that's Ariana Grande Cloud. <clears throat> Next up today, we have a really fun one, you guys, and that is Aphrodisiac by Anne Summers. Now, this perfume actually has some scent memories attached to it for me personally, because I took this on holiday with me to Cyprus a number of years ago now, you guys. It was quite a few years ago. <laughs> I think it was in 2018. But this is actually the only fragrance I took with me on holiday for two weeks. So, um, you know, I probably wouldn't be able to do that now. I would have to bring like at least three perfumes with me on holiday. But of course, um, you know, that holiday was before I had my perfume collection. So I actually only owned this fragrance and maybe a few others at the time. So anyway, this is the perfume I took with me on holiday. So of course, naturally, it kind of reminds me of those holiday um, memories, you know. To me, this is a really nice uh, grown up, more seductive version of um, Viva La Juicy Noir. So if you've tried Viva La Juicy Noir, to me, that fragrance, it doesn't really live up to the name or the look of the bottle. To me, I kind of expected that fragrance to be a bit richer, a bit more for evening occasions, you know, you guys. I expected something a bit deeper about that scent, um, but it wasn't really like that to my nose. It was kind of a light, fruity perfume. It was almost similar to the original Viva La Juicy or... Um, similar to Gold Couture, but just with more berries. That's basically how I found Viva La Juicy Noir to be. However, um, Aphrodisiac from Anne Summers is kind of what I hoped Viva La Juicy Noir would be like. So this is the better version, in my humble opinion. I think this is a really fantastic scent. It smells kind of more expensive than it is. So you can purchase this fragrance for a very affordable price, you guys, like seriously affordable on the Anne Summers website. And uh, in my opinion, it smells excellent for that price. Really a perfect nighttime, flirty, feminine 
going out, uh, even a clubbing type of scent, I would say this probably is. And I just really enjoy this one, you guys. It's a really standout fragrance, especially for the price, like I say. Um, I think the bottle's really pretty as well. I think now they've slightly changed the bottle, but from what I've seen, it still looks nice, the newer version. And um, it just reminds me of Summer Nights, this, this perfume, you guys, because like I say, it was my only perfume um, that I took with me on holiday to Cyprus. So this perfume just reminds me of Cyprus. And um, of course, you know, it reminds me of times going out to bars when I was there, going for walks along the beach, going out to nice restaurants of an evening, things like that. So I would really recommend this perfume, you guys. I think it's a really nice option. Um, the bottle is beautiful. It all appeals to me and it's just a fantastic fragrance for the hot summer nights. So that is Aphrodisiac from Anne Summers. Coconut water is my new favourite thing, you guys. I'm not even joking. I have been drinking so much of this lately. This is the pressed version, so it's kind of cloudy. But I've been drinking the clear version as well. Um, and I just, oh my gosh, I love them so much. They're so, so good. It's going to be my go-to drink for the summertime, without a doubt. I think it's meant to be quite good for you as well. Um, like your skin and things like that. So I've been drinking a ton of it. Um, Next up today, you guys, we have a classic in my collection that I absolutely love, and that is Dior's Poison Girl Eau de Parfum. Now, I think this is just the most perfect scent for any evening, really, but I think it would be particularly beautiful for these summer nights, whether you're going on a date, whether you're going out for a fun a couple of drinks with some friends, whether you're going out for an evening time walk, it really doesn't matter. I think this is up there with one of the nicest sweet balsamic uh, fragrances I've ever tried, you guys. It's just so good. Please let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, do you think that this is quite a simple basic scent or do you think it's more than that? Because for me, I actually think there's so much more to this fragrance than meets the eye. I think this is actually a fairly, not overly complex, but it's more complex than you would initially think. It's got the almond in there, which I really detect. Um, the Eau de Toilette version doesn't have almond, so it has a clearer consistency. Like when you smell it, it's not as thick and cloudy for that reason. I think the Eau de Toilette version as well is just overall uh, sweeter, it's not as balsamic. This one right here, the Eau de Parfum, is kind of a deeper, richer, more intoxicating, um, nighttime version, I would say, and it's just absolutely addictive. It is so Moorish. Um, funnily enough, I, I don't wear it that often, but that's purely just because I like to reserve it for evenings when I actually go out, if you know what I mean. This is really one of those perfumes that I love to wear if I'm actually dressed up, you know, like I am right now, going out somewhere nice for a drink. I just think this is the perfect fragrance for those kind of scenarios. It's not really the, the type of um, fragrance that I reach for casually every day. I don't really do that because I just love it so much. So I try to reserve it for like proper occasions when I'm actually going out, if you know what I mean. Um, but I absolutely adore it, you guys, it's so good. It's got bitter orange in here and orange blossom. So it's quite tart in some ways, but it's kind of, the tartness is rounded off by the sweetness, by the slight powderiness. Uh, there's rose in here as well. I believe there's cashmere in the base, there's tonka bead in the base, there's a very prominent vanilla note in here as well, but it doesn't at all smell cheap. It's not sweet in a cheap way at all, you guys. This smells quite indulgent to me. It smells just so alluring. You know, if you smelt this on somebody, you would just want to get closer to them. You would want to know what they're wearing. It's that kind of perfume, Poison Girl. Oh, it's just so good, you guys, honestly. Perfect for a summer night, perfect for going out for drinks. One quick thing I'll um, just mention as well about this fragrance is it's very sweet, so just be wary. Like, it's a very sweet perfume, so if you're not into your sweet scents, I would say you're possibly going to find this too sweet. But if you enjoy sweet balsamic fragrances and you like orange blossom and almond, then what are you waiting for, you guys? Seriously. <laughs> Next up today, we have a fairly new addition to my collection, I would say, and that is the beautiful Linterdee from Givenchy. This is the Eau de Parfum version. So I know there's the Eau de Toilette, there's the Intense, there is the Melisme, I can't remember what it's called, but it's like the lighter, it's an eau de parfum, but it's a flanker. I actually can't remember what it's called, um, but there's a different version. There's quite a few different versions of the Linterdee, but like I say, I just have the original eau de parfum. 
Oh my goodness, you guys. This one is a really smooth fragrance. It almost has the smooth texture of butter or of, um, of cream, something like that. It's so smooth, not at all powdery. It's very heavy on the tube rose. Quite heavy on the pear as well, I would say. It's almost like a fruity, sweet, indulgent tube rose scent. There is some vetiver in here as well, which I don't normally like. I really don't like vetiver um, at all, actually. But the way that it's done in here, it's basically just kind of um, giving a slight accent to the note profile. It's just anchoring it a little bit. It's not actually something that you would directly smell. It's just sort of enhancing the other notes, if you know what I mean. So it's very well disguised in here, I would say. So even if you don't like um, vetiver, you know, I would still maybe give this a try. Don't blind buy it, of course, but I would still maybe give it a chance, even if you don't like vetiver, because I don't like vetiver and I still enjoy this. If you like tube rose and if you enjoy sweet scents and if you also like orange blossom, I think I can smell some orange blossom in here, then I think you would just adore this, to be quite honest. It's a really good fragrance. To me, this fragrance smells quite elevated. It smells even maybe slightly mature, but just in a very grown-up, elevated, sophisticated kind of way, if you know what I mean. This fragrance, it smells like somebody who's maybe even slightly aloof, they're just very confident, um, you know, they're, they've, they're doing their own thing, you know, um, and they're very self-assured. That's the kind of uh, person that this fragrance reminds me of. And of course, I think that this was loosely inspired by Audrey Hepburn as well, which just makes it that bit more interesting. And it's just um, a really nice sort of fact about it because at the end of the day, who wouldn't want to smell like Audrey Hepburn? <laughs> I quite like the look of the bottle as well. At first, I wasn't so sure if I would like the bottle because I thought it was kind of um, too boring or something, but I actually do quite like this bottle. I think it almost has a slight retro appearance to it. I like the little ribbon and the little emblem there. And strangely enough, it has this little disc at the bottom, which, um, sort of ties in with this ribbon here. I just think it's quite a nice looking bottle, interesting coloured juice as well and overall this is just a fantastic solid perfume that won't let you down if you know what I mean. It smells consistently good, it lasts very well, um, it projects very nicely as well, um, it just, you know, you're gonna smell classy with this you guys, you're gonna smell sophisticated, you're gonna smell um, elevated like I say, it's just a fantastic fragrance option for all year round to be honest with you, but if you're wanting to smell on point for a hot summer night, then for sure give it a try. So that is Lintrudy from Givenchy. And next up today is a really fun fragrance, you guys, in my collection, and that is none other than the beautiful Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. So if you just want to smell like the heart and soul of the party, if you want to smell extremely flirty, sweet, delectable, all of those good things, then of course give this fragrance a try. So this perfume to me just smells... Mm, it smells like vanilla, caramel, berries honeysuckle, maybe some white florals. It's overall just a, an addictive fragrance, you guys. This fragrance really reminds me of Jessica Simpson's Fancy. To me, they smell very similar. I think it might be the caramel notes. I'm not quite sure, but they smell very alike to me. So if you enjoy one, then you'll probably enjoy the other. I don't think you would need both because like I say, they're quite similar to my nose. And um, so if you enjoy Fancy, then um, you would probably like this because to me they smell about 90% similar actually. <sighs> it's just a really nice girly, sweet, caramel, vanilla, berry kind of fun fragrance and I absolutely love it and of course it would be perfect for a fun summer night out. So that is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. Next up today we have my gorgeous scent of the day actually and that is the original Alien Eau de Parfum. This is the kind of fragrance, you guys, that you just cannot go wrong with. It is so consistently good. I love this perfume. It is so intoxicating. It's so smooth. It's rich. It's ambery, so it's quite warm. It's got that intoxicating, beautiful, addictive jasmine note in there with the woody notes also. And all together, this just creates an absolutely stunning, um, alluring, feminine, bold and unique fragrance you guys i just absolutely love it i'm gonna spray some more 
Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this perfume so much. Um, funnily enough, for the longest time, I wasn't really reaching for my Alien, but I think I'm going to start wearing it more because it's just so good, honestly. I love that, um, that sweetness in here. If you've tried Alien, you will know what I mean. Maybe um, it's the kind of scent, it's not obviously sweet, but it is sweet. It's almost in like an amber way. Um, it's like a, a rich, like dripping sweet balsamic amber note in here and it gives it that beautiful sweetness. Recently I've been sort of more interested in perfumes like this that aren't so obviously sweet so you know if you're not in the mood for some of these really sweet perfumes maybe one of the aliens either the eau de parfum or the eau de toilette that could be a nice alternative because they're not obviously sweet but they are still kind of sweet to me in some ways. Um, the eau de parfum this one is still sweet to me in a rich warm amber kind of way and it's just so beautiful honestly. I think this would just be such a standout uh, gorgeous bold scent for a summer night especially if you're going out somewhere nice. This fragrance is just so oh it's just so good you guys. I love Alien. I think um I used to dislike it then I sort of grew to like it and now I'm just enjoying it more and more the more often I wear it, I just love this perfume so much. Um, and it would definitely be a fantastic, seductive, alluring, gorgeous uh, date night scent or, you know, any occasion when you're going out on a summer night. I think you really could not go wrong with Alien. Next up today, we have another really sweet perfume. <laughs> I do think I have more sweet perfumes in my collection than, um, you know, perfumes that aren't so sweet. I think what I'm gonna do is maybe look to purchase some more fragrances that aren't as obviously sweet because like I say I am becoming more interested in those kind of fragrances but for now we have another sweet treat here and that is Bon Bon from Victor and Rolf. So this perfume I think would make a fantastic fragrance for a summer nights you know going out somewhere nice particularly if you're just having a fun kind of evening with some friends and you just want a really girly sweet fragrance to throw on and kind of create an atmosphere of just um, a bubbly, friendly, flirty, girly sort of vibe, if you know what I mean. So in here you have your caramel, you have your really prominent peachy notes actually, there's a really prominent note of peach. And for all this perfume smells very sweet and girly, it doesn't smell cheap to me, it smells it's maybe a tiny bit juvenile just because of how playful and sweet it is and everything, but it does not smell cheap because this uh, fragrance is actually really well done. So Victor and Rolf, I think overall their perfumes are quite good quality. Um, I've personally owned uh, this one and I also own Flower Bomb and to me they're quite good quality fragrances. I don't know if the same can be said for all of their perfumes. Those are the only two I've properly tried, I think. Um, but yeah, you guys, this perfume is not cheap. It's, it doesn't smell cheap either, but it is a very indulgent, sweet, bubbly, girly, um, happy-go-lucky kind of fragrance, maybe even girl next door vibes, that kind of thing. And I think it would just make an absolutely gorgeous uh, summer and nighttime fragrance. It's just really nice, you guys. So that is Victor and Rolf Bon Bon. And last up today, but by no means least, for a scandalous summer night, I would recommend Scandal by Night from Jean-Paul Gaultier. So this perfume, you guys, does not mess around. It is literally the most intoxicating, ridiculously seductive fragrance I think I've ever tried. It is truly a bombshell scent. So you have just these bold, gorgeous notes in here, like your tuberose, you have your cherry also. You have a really interesting note of Nard Himalayan in here, and I don't know what that's meant to smell like, but I did notice it on the note listing when I checked. Oh, oh my gosh, you guys, it's just so, it's buttery smooth, it's so enveloping. Of course, as with all of the Scandal fragrances, you have the honey notes in here as well and it overall just creates this sensation of dripping, oozing um, feminine charm. You know, it's just, it's very flirtatious. This is definitely the kind of fragrance you wear if you want to get noticed. So funnily enough, you guys, I don't reach for this one really at all. I've not found the right occasion to wear this fragrance just because of how how strongly it conveys those emotions. You know, this is really a very 
flirtatious scent to, to me. This is just how I perceive it and um, almost so much to the point where I've felt not confident enough to wear it or something just because of how bold it is. Um, I don't know if you've ever felt that way about fragrances, like do you have any in your collection that you love and you think it's just amazing but you don't actually reach for it that often because you think it's just so out there. That's what this perfume is to me and it's kind of funny because some people might, I mean you might have almost expected um, me to feel this way more about Alien than this but for some reason I don't at all. I feel much more comfortable wearing Alien than I do wearing this. It's almost like it would have to be a very particular occasion for me to reach for this fragrance right here but certainly if you are um I don't know you guys if you're wanting to attract attention if you want to unleash your inner femme fatale even I would recommend this perfume it's just extremely out there it's really really good very sweet like very very sweet as well quite a lot of emphasis on that honey it's almost quite warm as well like it's this warm like dripping concoction of honey, your cherry, your tuberose as well, other florals like orange blossom perhaps. And yeah, you guys, this perfume does not mess around. It really does not. So of course, for a scandalous summer night, I would recommend Scandal by Night from Jean-Paul Gaultier. Before I forget today, I'm gonna let you know which lipstick I'm wearing today because I do sometimes get asked that and I will forget because my videos are pre-filmed and I will just, um, I wanna make sure that I'm giving you guys the correct information. So I'm just gonna tell you right now, I forgot to bring the lipstick through with me. I was supposed to bring it through to the living room. Um, oh well, um, but the, the lipstick itself is Clinique Even Better Pop in shade 12 Enamored. So that is the, per the not the perfume, this is the lipstick I'm wearing today. Just in case you're wondering, um, that's the lipstick. I'm also wearing the Charlotte Tilbury Vintage Vamp Quad Eyeshadow Palette, just in case you're wondering. And, oh, see, I'm gonna, I can't remember everything I've got on my face. I think it's the Armani uh, Luminous Silk Foundation, some Bare Minerals Powder, Bare Minerals Blush, um, Bare Minerals Eyebrow. Um, but anyway, I was really just, I was gonna tell you about the lipstick and now I can't remember what else is on my face. Oopsie daisy. Thank you guys so very much for watching today. Honestly, I appreciate you all so, so much. You have no idea. Um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. It helps me out an awful lot when you do that. Also, uh, share your thoughts in the comments section below because I just love reading through your comments. Thank you guys again for watching. Take care and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.